In this video, I want to talk about creating a PowerPoint that can serve as the background for your video. So there are some uh, formatting principles that seem to be quite obvious, uh, is that you know, keep your text short, make your transitions proportionate to the needs of the video, not too many, perhaps not too few, keep the background relatively simple, and again, re relevant to the needs of what you're trying to show. Uh, now, there are some tools that can help you with all of that, uh, so one, inside PowerPoint, and, and they're, they're, they are using smart art, icons and photos, and also learning how to use a template to help make the creation a bit easier. So I want to focus here on smart art and icons. So smart art is, uh, is a way of, um, of transferring an outline. So this is an outline that uh, came from my mind map. And then I, with one click of the mouse, I simply uh, transform that into a chart like that. And then I had to sort of do a few more things to make it um, make the formatting look like this. And by then, the other nice thing, once I have done this, I can easily transform it into another format that perhaps looks like this or something like that. So, so smart art inside of PowerPoint is very useful in letting you create some useful lists that aren't just the usual bullet points um, that, that you know, people, of course, are talking about when they talk about death by PowerPoint. The other thing that you can do is, is use just simple text and a full screen picture as a background. So that's something uh, that is very easy to do in PowerPoint. Now you can bring in some online pictures. There are many sources of images. Uh, you can make them a bit translucent as well so that they're not perhaps as overpowering as, as full, as sort of fully um, colored pictures. Uh, and then you can get pictures uh, for free, really nice high quality pictures uh, on Pixabay. And, and there are some other uh, source of information about other sources of free videos, but Pixabay, Pexels, or Unsplash are the two common sources that I recommend making really, really good images, and they're completely free to use, including for commercial purposes. Now, PowerPoint also has many advanced functions. Uh, you can embed videos as backgrounds, as you've already seen in some of my other videos. You can use 3D objects, transitions, animations, screen recordings, uh, or you can save PowerPoint as video. So all of these things are also available to you in PowerPoint. Um, so, for example, uh, if I want to embed a video like this, you can see uh, you can see there's a video as a background. So now all of a sudden, uh, I'm not just on a static static page. Uh, I can also record my screen, as I already said. And so this is an example, you, something you saw in the previous video, where now all of a sudden you're seeing what was happening in Word. And in PowerPoint, there is a function for screen recording right inside my video, right inside the PowerPoint uh, built in. So, so, so as you can see, PowerPoint has many other features that, that you can use to um, build a nice video background. Now you should use them judiciously, uh, and perhaps, for example, transitions not to have too many, or animations not to have too many, but uh, the power of PowerPoint, I think, is something uh, to perhaps explore, and uh, there are many courses on lynda.com, for example, that, will, that can show you how to uh, do some of the more advanced things with PowerPoint, and also online, many people will teach, can teach you how to create very complex PowerPoint presentations. And the important thing is to remember, whatever you can put in a PowerPoint can be your background in a video when we're using our tool rapidly.